how much gold is in Fort Knox. You can turn back now or learn the stuff they don't want you to know. Here are the facts. Worldwide gold production averages about 50 million troy ounces per year. That's enough to create a cube about 14 feet or 4.3 meters on each side. Investor Warren Buffett believes that all of Earth's discovered gold could fit in a cube about 67 or 68 feet to a side. However, no one agrees on how much gold actually exists. Figures vary from as low as 155,244 tons to 2.5 million. To further complicate things, governments can also be cagey about the exact amount of gold in their control. Take Fort Knox. The United States Mint claims that this fort holds 4,578 metric tons of gold, worth a little over 238 billion in 2012. But again, estimates vary widely. In fact, some people believe there's no gold in Fort Knox at all. Here's where it gets crazy. Chris Powell, speaking for the Gold Antitrust Action Committee, believes that the gold market is being manipulated by the Federal Reserve. The GATA believes that the U.S. is drastically overstating the amount of gold it actually holds. Furthermore, they believe central banks across the world are doing the same thing. Why? According to the critics, this is a handy way to artificially suppress or inflate the price of gold. GATA isn't the only group making these claims, and the Fed is not the only bank accused of fixing the market. A London trader named Andrew McGuire stated that employees at JP Morgan Chase were manipulating the precious metals market. In 1981, Globe journalist Bob Barino reported that almost 7,000 tons of bullion had been illegally taken from Fort Knox. Barino's sources were named Edward Durrell and Dr. Peter Better. The men claimed that between 1973 and 1974, the U.S. Treasury allowed speculators to take the gold and sell it at $42 per ounce, one quarter of the going rate at the time. Better and Durrell asked then-President Reagan to audit Fort Knox and other U.S. depositories. Durrell claimed that the last actual audit of Fort Knox occurred in 1953 and that since then the Treasury Department has only conducted spot checks. Government officials state that the missing gold has been legitimately sent to foreign banks in legal transactions. In either case, the security at Fort Knox is legendary. Even the people who own the gold have trouble accessing it. And although the Treasury has audited Fort Knox several times, at this point there still hasn't been an audit that's up to the skeptical standards. Perhaps no audit would be good enough to convince the doubtful, but wouldn't it be easier to try and dispel the rumors by displaying the actual gold? Are GATA's accusations crackpot alarmism, or is there something the Fed doesn't want you to know? The pieces of green paper have value because everybody thinks they have value. Milton Friedman